Welcome back to Living Local. Chances are you have seen our next guest's work, but didn't know. He's a stunt performer and coordinator whose credits include The Color Purple, Avengers Endgame, The Fast and the Furious, among many others. Some indie films in there. Yeah, Yeah, and his name is Mark Hicks, and he is gearing up to deliver his latest cinematic masterpiece, Retribution for Corey. And yeah. Mark himself joins us in this segment sponsored by Everywhere PR. Mark, so great to yeah, have man. you here. Welcome. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. It's a pleasure being here. So, it's really rad to have you here. It so, is. Yeah, yeah. It is. If, if folks knew your background, but let's <laughs> let's talk about your history in show business. Yeah. Because it, it goes back. Yes. Uh, oof, back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to age myself too much, but yeah, I've been I've been at it almost thirty years. Uh, I think my first big movie was uh, Batman Forever. That's a good one. And, okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's right when I was. You know, really getting started, and uh, it took off from there. And, wow. Uh, yeah. And and so you know, you're a stunt performer primarily. You obviously do other things too. But you know, we were looking through your IMDb. Yes. It's a lot of stunt coordination, a lot of stunt work. What was it about that work that really spoke to you early on? You know, uh, uh, growing up in uh, the Twin Cities, St. Paul, Min uh, Minneapolis area, uh, I was a gymnast and a martial artist. Oh, okay. Okay. And I wanted to be the next Black Jackie Chan. And, uh, <laughs> And somebody came and said, hey, you know, I, I, I think you should do stunts. And uh, uh -huh. I'm like, I'll take a look at it. And, and, yeah. and, and it just worked out for me. Mm -hmm. I was sort of the kid that uh, was riding the skateboard down a hill way too steep, tumbled, and oh, absolutely. somehow got up to live. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, that was me, jumping over stuff, out of buildings, off of, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and this is before I got paid for it. So. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> So, so were there other stars that you looked up to then? Oh, yeah. Those uh, who you I idolized? Was, obviously, being a young kid, when I saw Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan, Stallone, of course, oh. Schwarzenegger, uh, uh, Snipes, <coughs> uh, uh, these guys just blew me away. And then when I when I got a camera and started messing around, I I really started to uh, to to study the guys that create this stuff. Yeah. John, you know, John Woo. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Bay, who I got a chance, obviously, to uh, work with yeah. later. I, and I got a chance to work with Jackie as well. Uh, uh, these uh, directors and, 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 and filmmakers just, um, they have something you know, special. F. Gary Gray, I got a chance to work with him. Uh, so uh, yeah, these 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 brothers got, I mean, <laughs> yeah. they, they bring it. And uh, you know, it'd be nice to have you know, you know their budgets for <laughs> oh, for, sure, for yeah, some yeah. of my stuff, but yeah. uh, we'll get there. We'll have to, have to get a bucket to put all the names back in that <laughs> oh, we've been yeah. dropping out here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You work with Jackie Chan. That's so cool on the yeah. Rush Hour films. That that yeah. must yeah. have been a really cool like moment for you. It was very cool. Jackie was probably talking to his guys. Hey, don't leave me alone with because he's staring at me. I, I, I was just watching Jackie, everything that he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I was I was a huge fan. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's, and so, dude, you're making your own film, man. Yes. Retribution yes. Corey. Let's talk about this film. How did this kind of come come your way? Uh, me and a, a very good friend of mine, Bill Caressel, uh, sat down over COVID and said, "Hey, listen, we got a lot of time." Yeah. Uh, so we put this script together. Uh, it was it was my brainchild. I told him this is what I wanted to do. And I wrote it because I knew that I wanted it filled with action, mm -hmm. but I had to write it in a way that worked for our limited time, limited right. budget, right on. and resources. But uh, uh, we decided to go for it. Yeah, it yeah. looks great too, dude. The trailer's really cool. It it came out really, really good. And and, yeah. and and it's and it's and it's good action. It's good acting. It's it's a good story. And yeah. if you have one without the other, it doesn't work. If you have good yeah. acting and the action doesn't deliver or you yeah. have great action mm -hmm. and the story's not there or the acting it, it, it won't work. Yeah. This one brings it. It's all storytelling, so. man. It's all yes, storytelling. It is. Very it much is. so. And, and a portion of the proceeds are going to charity, right? Let's talk yes, about that. This is near and dear to my heart, uh, St. Jude Children's Research mm -hmm. Hospital and the United Negro College Fund. Uh, uh, both of those charities, even though they're very, very different, mm -hmm. they're really, really uh, uh, important to me. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is doing some amazing things for families that are families that are going through probably the mm -hmm. most difficult thing that they will ever deal with in their lives. Yeah. And then uh, 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 the United Negro College Fund gives opportunities to people that would never have the opportunity mm -hmm. to get a secondary education. Yeah. yeah so. 
Yeah, that's that's amazing, dude. Yeah, and, and so important. Thank you. And I know this is the worst question for a showbiz person, but what's next for you and your company, dude? I'm sure you have something. Yes, on the yes. <laughs> Actually, uh, there will be a retribution for Corey too. Hey, okay. All right. But uh, first, we're probably going to do uh, a project. We're spooling up to do a project called uh, Turn and Count to Twenty. It is the story of a Down syndrome infant fighting for his life during one of the worst snowstorms in U.S. history. Uh, we're going to film on location, partly in Indiana, where it actually occurred, and it's a true story. Oh wow! So, uh, my uh, partner wrote it. That's amazing. Okay. Well, I'm available, Mark. So yeah. we'll have to chat about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll have to exchange. Um, yeah, no, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This is so cool that, that with your background and stuff that you were just. You're, you have so much knowledge. Of course, you're going to wow. go out on Thank your own you. and do something, man. Yeah. This is so cool, dude. Yeah. Thank you. And it's awesome, it. man. Yeah. And yeah. we loved having you here. It's it's great. I so we could talk all day with you. We could. <laughs> it would be fun. We could. Right? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. grab some coffee after this. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you guys have been great. Thank but, you. But, thank you, Mark. But, yes, Appreciate thank it, you for coming in. And again, this segment was sponsored by Everywhere PR. And you can learn more about Mark and everything he has going on when you visit StuntsSupreme.com. And we'll have all those details posted at OurQuadCities.com.